A bipartisan group of 33 senators this week urged the United Nations to open an independent investigation into what the senators call a growing body of evidence that Hamas committed acts of sexual violence on Israelis during the October 7th attack. CBS's Lilia Luciano now on what eyewitnesses are saying, and we want to warn you that some of what you're about to hear is graphic. It was just after 6 in the morning when the first missiles appeared in the sky on October 7th, kicking off hours of violence. Rami Shmael, who produced the Nova Music Festival, returned the next day and witnessed the aftermath. Outside, uh, two, two cars, there was uh, also two young ladies naked from the waist down, one of the victims was gun shot down uh, in the lower parts of her body. So there was a very clear difference between the way the male bodies were found and the women's bodies were found. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Was it clear to you that they had been raped? Definitely. What they did to, the, to, 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 to these ladies from the waist down, it's not only rape. Israeli investigators tell CBS News the priority after the October 7th attack was identifying the victims, so they did not collect forensic evidence of sexual assault. But they say there are eyewitness accounts, photos, interrogation statements, and circumstantial evidence pointing to sexual attacks. A supervisor with a search and recovery team in charge of collecting the bodies showed us some of the injuries he says he saw and documented, including women whose bodies had lacerations, stabbings and gunshots to their genital area. The bodies were then taken to an army base, which served as a morgue, where IDF volunteer Shari Mendes says she handled the bodies of women. They were shot in the breast. And we saw a lot of women came in, sometimes just in underwear. The underwear was very bloody. An IDF medic who did not want to be identified described what he says he found in a kibbutz. The one on the floor, her legs are wide open and she was shot uh, at the back side of her head. And her pants are pulled down and there's a pile of semen on the lower part of her back. In a statement, Hamas said, we categorically reject false allegations of rape, calling it misleading propaganda. Other militant groups and criminal organizations also took part in the attacks. What was the message you read? I think every one of those cases uh, struck me as, as just being a terrible message of hatred. Investigators say most of the victims of sexual violence in the attacks did not survive to tell their stories. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, London.